it's Annie here again. So Hakan just um, asked me to remind you to subscribe to his YouTube channel because it will make him happy. Personally, I love Hakan and his videos and can't wait to see his next videos. So hurry up, don't miss the chance to be updated. So subscribe to his channel. Okay. Hi Annie, how's life? Hello, life is good. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. So it's Hakan here. Today I have Ani uh, with me. But before we jump in, uh, I think that we have a lot of in common because you know we experience things and we would love to share to you guys. And yeah, we just love to share and experience things. So yeah, Ani, before we jump in, why don't you tell about yourself? Okay. So my name is Ani. I am Flex finalist 2021 2022. I am from Armenia. So oh. right now I'm in the US in Iowa State, West Des Moines City. So yeah, I am just um, experiencing this new US life. I just moved here like two or three months ago. So I'm doing my exchange year currently. Yeah, sometimes you have to balance your life and manage yeah, your time okay. and yeah consider to be waste right mm -hmm. okay yeah. so yeah uh, so you did mention about flex program before and i would love to know more about flex flex program because i was from yes program not flex program so can you tell me a bit about flex program and how the process of selection of it yes definitely so flex program is a future leaders exchange program uh, that program gives uh, students like uh, high schoolers from um, 9th grade to 11th uh, 12th grade to study have the opportunity to study in the u.s for one academic year and selection process is a little bit hard because you just need to pass three rounds i think you know <laughs> yeah the first round is kind of english test I, I, actually uh my time like that i participated applied for the program it was online so it was a little bit difficult compared to other years but um it uh, like it was almost the same like the for the first round as i did online everything completely like because of the covid because of the pandemic so first round was like um we completed just an application and then uh we just in that application we wrote two essays it was kind of a little bit difficult but as i know usually students just have uh, one basic english test which just verifies that you know you know english so when you pass that uh, english test after that comes the second round in the second round um mine was a little bit different i had uh, just an english test and um that test was like co like consists of i don't remember exactly but maybe 16 questions yeah and of course the you just have some limited time you just need to be faster, just think faster, and of course, uh, answer nice. all the questions correctly. Yeah, and after that, I got the call for the third round. That's congratulations, you passed the uh, second round and you are in the third round. So it was kind of, um, so now it is so easy to say first round, second round, third round, but actually participants who are applying for the program, only they know what, what a hard path is that? What what difficulties you need to accomplish? I don't know. You need to overcome because uh, everything is about waiting. You are just waiting during that program, and that waiting process just kills you. Yeah. Yeah. The waiting process. <laughs> yes, and I was honestly. Yeah. There is no guarantee. We will go. We will be going up before we in the plane, right? So, Definitely. Yeah, waiting for this. I, I, honestly, I couldn't believe that I was in the US, even though I was in the US. I was like, I, I just met my host family and I didn't understand what was happening to me. Oh my God, is this happening to me? I was just asking that question in my mind because I, I, I don't know. I just couldn't accept that I did that, that I could just overcome all that difficulties like everything like to just get go to the US so 
it's unbelievable, of course. So let me continue and talk about the third round, which was super, super, super long. It was a long process, the most kind of difficult, like compared to others. So the third program, in the third program, actually, we have interviews, we have essays, and we have an English test. It, this one is uh, more difficult compared to others. But interview, actually, I did something um, smart. I call it smart. So my interview was on November 3rd, which is my birthday. <laughs> so I <laughs> decided to make it more unforgettable i don't know like i wanted people to remember me with my birthday because it is a special day finally and they will definitely remember so first of all when i told them like uh, actually i just thought what i was gonna say i was gonna say hello my name is ani i'm 70 years old i'm 16 but i just turned 17 but just please it was not like that so i was like uh, they were like, uh, hello, Ani, uh, let's go to the question, how are you? And that, that was it. So I couldn't say that I was 16. And then I, I just wanted to say that that was my birthday, but I couldn't just, oh my God, that was so, I didn't know what to do at the time. But in the end, after the interview, I was like, you know, <laughs> today was, <laughs> today is my birthday. <laughs> And everybody, <laughs> I, I, anyway, it was kind of a shameful moment, but I did that because I did everything like to just make sure that they know that that day was my birthday to make it memorable. Yeah. memorable. Yeah. Same yeah. Yeah. And because of that, you are being noticed by the committee, by the uh, interviewer. You're being noticed. By yeah. the Oh, Definitely. this is the birthday girl. Uh, that's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So yeah. Uh, do you have any tips for the future flex uh, participant of who wants to I join have. us? Yes, definitely. Uh, tips are various. <laughs> First of all, uh, one of the most important things is that you should be honest with yourself and with everyone, especially like with the, uh, first of all, with yourself. Don't because yourself. like, yes, yes, with yourself. So you should be honest in your essays. You should be honest during the interview. You should be the person who you are like, uh, because like, um anyway like if you pretend someone you will i don't know it will be noticed that you it's, pretend it's hard someone. to be responsible it's hard to be responsible yes like yeah. flex is about i i'm i dare to say that flex is about responsibility you know if you pretend someone and you go to the us maybe much more difficulties will occur and so because living alone being not i don't know living alone is not an easy thing so actually i'm in the us but a lot of pro there are a lot of problems even though we don't talk about the problem but there are a lot of problems so you just need to make sure that you have that abilities that you are honest with the interviewer who are gonna just choose you to be a flex finalist so being honest is the best thing ever even if you don't just become flex finalist maybe it is the best thing that can have ever happen Agreed. because sometimes like like um, i cannot for example i cannot compare my exchange year with another like exchange uh, student like because it is different you will flex just gives you the opportunity and you need to just um take the most of it it is the most Agreed. important thing Agreed. so um, yeah it was being honest is the first and the most important tip and the second one is like know what you want explore the program like have that background knowledge to just know what program you're applying for um, imagine because imagination is something when you imagine something it is real for me because i uh, imagined like the whole things in my head like i had that imagination thing like that image that you know i'm gonna get that call definitely because i believe that i'm definitely 
gonna get the call so when you imagine something it's gonna be real definitely and the whole universe will conspire you in, in achieving your goal I agree yeah I agree when you believe in yourself you can do uh, you can you can what if you if you think you can right you can if you think you can yeah yeah so uh, that was that was really nice thing because you know uh, I will I would say don't pick yourself up because when you in when you got like for example interview and then when you pick yourself on the document so when you got to the interview you just hard to to be responsible of what you are uh, already feeling in your document so just I love your say uh, just be yourself be honest yeah, yeah. I love Definitely. that I love that